Welcome to our first case report and welcome to Vienna EMS. In this course, we will continuously enhance your learning experience with exciting case examples from our daily work. So we're going to take you essentially out of the studio and right into the pre-hospital work environment of our ambulance service and thus directly into the heart of one of Europe's most beautiful and vibrant cities. Let's dive into it and jump right into the case. On a Tuesday morning, 21-year-old student Maria wakes up with a mild cold and headache that had begun to develop the evening before. With some important lectures at university ahead, she had gone to bed early the previous night, hoping to sleep it off and be ready for studying the next day. So although Maria isn't feeling completely well, she decides to give it a try and heads eagerly to her lectures. Shortly after the second lecture, Maria realizes that she is too unwell to continue, so she asks her dad to pick her up and take her back home to bed. On the evening, Maria develops a slight fever, forcing her to stay in bed for the following days, watching television, taking antipyretics and some painkillers. Believing it to be just a simple flu, the next few days pass without any notable events. But by Saturday morning, things are turning worse. Maria's fever has risen again, and since noon she has been complaining of increasing shortness of breath along with her cough, prompting her mother to arrange a home visit with their family physician for the late afternoon. But within a few hours only, Maria's condition rapidly worsens, forcing her mom to call for an ambulance. When paramedics finally arrive at the scene, the rescue team performs a standardized primary assessment. The findings are worrying. Maria is critically ill with a blood pressure of 90 over 60, a pulse of 120 per minute, and an oxygen saturation of 85% on room air. She appears very sick, barely responsive with a GCS of 12, and has a fever of 38.8 degrees Celsius. Suspecting acute sepsis due to a respiratory infection, the team calls for an emergency physician, who is dispatched immediately. Meanwhile, the paramedics establish two large bore venous excesses and start administering 1,000 milliliter of full electrolyte solution. 